Welcome to another Cello Bella live stream. Uh, we've been on Facebook for quite a while and we continue, but today is our first YouTube live stream as well. So uh, millions more will be watching you. <laughs> um, I want to introduce one of my uh, favorite people and one of my favorite cellists, Luis Claret, uh, straight off the boat from Barcelona. Um, or maybe you flew. Flew. Yep. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, you have his bio on your program here in the room, and you have his bio online. You have the program in both places as well. We're going to hear, uh, have an afternoon of cello concertos, uh, starting with the Shalomo Bloch, uh, then the A major CPE -E Bach concerto, and finishing with uh, the third movement of Dvorak. So, promises to be a great couple of hours, and um, welcome. Thank you. 
beautiful. First thing I have to say that since last time I heard you, you made a big change on, on sound quality. Beautiful. <coughs> uh, second thing I have to say is that your king is too, too modest. <laughs> when a king talks, even if he talks soft, something. My feeling is that you are quite worried about left hand. Uh, why do you start with the harmonic? Is that a choice of color or, or safety choice? Color. Color. Which color? Um, because there is an accent, right? Right, right. And pianissimo or mezzo forte? Mezzo forte. Mezzo forte. So play an accent mezzo forte with a harmonic. No, I, I'm not saying it cannot be harmonic. Mm -hmm. It can be. But then you have a choice on mm -hmm. how you want to start. Because if you brought to come with the crescendo, you don't need to start. It can be. I, I don't like the harmonic, but if it's your choice, it should be like a. And then. The problem is that with the harmonic, you have to use more bow. Eh? Otherwise, it gets. Without harmonic. Note after the long note, pronounce it. Tiam, ti da da da, pa di di da, ti da 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 da. Something else. In this piece, you need quite often big sound, not especially here. Mm -hmm. You never use the whole hair. Mm -hmm. Just at the very end. You know, if you have the big crescendo. Or see the difference? Mm -hmm. you, you even can turn the bow like a little bit like this so you have more hair. No, when you change bow, every time you change bow, your bow is mm -hmm. going to sleep, not here. to keep it. Let's, let's try, sorry. Let's try, start already with almost full here. Yeah, but no, it's too loud, too loud. has to be solid ball. Da, 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 da. Every 
Third time, you have the G, da, 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 da. You don't do anything different. It's like if you pronounce G, da, 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 da. G, da, da, da. Otherwise, this is legato. Just here, not, not, not near your neck. And, yeah, go ahead, more. This has to be a little bit more uh, rhythmic feeling. Start, start, start just more relaxed. Uh, don't start here every time. This is star. Something I saw here, you don't move. You can put the coin here. And you keep the coin till the end. <laughs> Oof. Just a little bit. Times. Very long. Making the tenutos a bit longer each time, more more sound but than every tenuto. Follow the chromatism. Da da di 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 da 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 da. We go, yeah. Tita. And the the, the jump here. It's almost to the similar notes, yeah? Did -da, did -da. Play the short note like a bit. Team ba dum ba dum ba dum. Same note, try, no, no, try, try, it's the forty. Don't see. But don't force, don't force. Lift of the hand, I mean, strong but flexible. Mm -hmm. don't, don't. Stop piano. Piano, piano, piano. No, no, don't, don't, don't move, don't move, don't move. We can move, of course, but we want to change the color.
turn. Just whole arm. Get don't 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 think finger. Mm -hmm. It uh, sometimes I have the feeling that you you look you, your fingers are here to present. It's the arm who is playing. So, uh, it's my arm who gets D. First time you did, and then you did. Uh, so you, your king is. Uh, <laughs> I don't think here. Okay. So it's. Uh, so less here, but here. And this, this sound goes to the audience. This one. This one. Uh, it's. Uh, Think here. Go on, go on. Two to you keep your F. <laughs> no, come on. Okay. And <laughs> see, move. Uh, you stay and you do. I think it will help to this. And if I have to push the bow, I'm going this side and I do. And before the bow change, I go opposite, okay. just before. But you don't do anything. If it would go opposite, at least it would be something, but you do so. And I think it will help to release here because it's, you need to move something when you play. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't move the body, you, your neck is all the time. No. Just there. Second note. Mm -hmm. Tari yara. Okay. Not tari tara. Tari. Try to practice when you pull the bow, do this. Of course, together with the with the getting to the bridge, but together with this. Yeah, it, it, see, it, it gives a more a bigger arch. No effort. Good. Bounce. 
your hand if you want. <laughs> States. Oh, no king here. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> See, pim. And if uh, harmonic here for safety or for color here? I like the color. Or, or play a big harmonic sound. Okay. <laughs> Just a few minutes. Uh, play the tarty. Hey, full here. No, when you change bow, your bow goes. Just nothing. Release a little bit the pressure and go, but don't. It's a risky, but take risk. No, but with a second, second, second. Arm, arm, arm. Yeah, forget the fingers. You have to play with the arm, not with the fingers. I mean, the arm moves, the fingers they go with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we have to stop here. Sorry, it's a long piece, but we don't have more time. Bravo. Thank you.
I like very much the tempos. Uh, on the second movement, it should be much more conversation with the orchestra. When you play long notes, mm -hmm. the orchestra is playing a line. Don't sustain that and so loud, yeah? Okay. And uh, there's something about the bowings, because there are many ta 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 And if you play too much here all the time, it's a little bit uh, repeating color. Okay. You know, this. My students always smile when I talk about the shabu shabu bowing. <laughs> uh, shabu shabu is not possible here. <laughs> it's really, yeah. yeah. It's the kind of boom 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 bowing, bowing that we need on, on Bach, we need on Haydn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's try the first movement. Yeah. Sure. Well, you can start. <laughs> Not written, but if you on 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 YouTube you have a Christophe Coin playing the piece. You know mm -hmm. Christophe Coin, mm -hmm. and some of the and they all play this. I think it's a little bit well. It gives a little more uh, richer starting. Mm -hmm. Just choice, okay? Okay. <laughs> Rampa, we need it's closing, right? Mm -hmm. So ram dominant to the ram, pa the ram, pa the ram, pa the ram. Get the ta da ram further. Okay. No, I mean, I don't. don't relax this one. It's not relaxing this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, tum. Relaxing later, yeah. Okay. Don't don't drop both. How would you say it? Would you sing it? Tarara or tararam? Tararam. Tararam. Now listen if you play the M or not. Tararam. Tararam. Try a little bit, uh, not too close to the. To Note. A bit more bold. No, 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 don't give an accent, just don't stop the ball. Don't. So, so sostenuto. Uh, something else, it, all the time is written separate, right? Yeah. 
and a few times you are but I think you should you could do more like yeah okay because too, 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 too much all the time same I know you have to maybe to perform the piece next week I don't know if you can change or not it's for next time you mm -hmm. yeah no no try your way but don't play here here Ta -da -dum. And it's forearm and let your hand shake. For the shabu shabu. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's all wrong. You have to shape. Da, 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 da. Especially if you don't do uh, articulations, you have to play different length. Mm -hmm. Because. Tika, 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 da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Shape it. Pa, da, da. Tira to two notes. Don't play E. For next week, maybe not. Yeah, but then play A. Yeah, ta 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 ta, not. It's a little straight. Yeah. Can you play this? Uh, uh, start with the perspective. You start off. Good. Good. Yeah. So it's a little. Can you lose your wrist a little bit? Mm. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, now try what you did before, here. It's, it's a little bit more difficult to shape, right? Yeah. But did you try to shape or not? That time? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, try, try better. <laughs> on, on your place, yeah. If you want to play here, you have really to make your arm much lighter. Mm -hmm. Because... I can do, but then I have to... I can do, but mm -hmm. I have to compensate too much. I play for... Yeah? Okay. So... Okay, sorry. Yeah, as we don't, we don't have. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. So the first moon, I would try to move a little bit. Okay. Did you feel any difference now? Yeah, it, it's easier to phrase. Yeah, but I would recommend the the, the wrist a little more arch, because if it's like this, it's a little bit too straight. Yeah. But don't don't lift the shoulder. Eh? Don't lift the shoulder up. Yeah. 
And now let's let's go to the Largo. Beautiful and very un, un, unusual markings, yeah? Mm -hmm. You should do more. Just when the cello starts to... Uh, when the C major comes, what is the difference? Do it's all forte. This? All forte. Uh, no, but mood, the different oh, mood. It's, it's not forte or piano. It's um, more uplifting. Relax, open. Um, so the aim is... I, I wouldn't play, it. it's forte, but I wouldn't play two outside like... Vibrato not too much, more bow. And then tour. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So have this in mind when you start. Okay. too much. Give a curve to the D. Just that bar, the downbeat. Yeah. See, when you play here, I would recommend the thumb sitting. Because The arm has the arm has to rest on the thumb, and the rest of the hand is free. Mm -hmm. If you leave the thumb, you have to press harder. Okay. One D, one D, one D. Start with one D. One. The good one. Don't start. Uh, just. Sostenuto. Dam pom pom para di da dam pom para dam brum. Yeah, the the bar. is there but the uh, <laughs> 1D, 1D. Wait and 1D. Because if you play 3Ds you don't practice how to start. Yeah. 
you play to sostenuto. Make a shape. Yeah? Go on, go on. Shorter notes, you answer the piano. Tita, mm -hmm. if you sustain, is there is no answer. T, it's just a big line, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's jump to the last movement. Tempo was good. Bravo for all the ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> so difficult on the piano. <laughs> also here, yeah, pop, 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 all the triplets are too close to the floor for me. Okay. So lam dum. It's a, it's a sixteen. It's not uh, first time. It's a sixteen. Mm. Is that on your part also? Yeah, sixteen. Pakete ke tam pam param. Pakete tam pakete tam pam param. Pam pakete ke tam in second time. Okay. Uh, when you play the triplets, yeah, pa 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 pi pa 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 pa. More shape. You know the bar? No, sorry, I, 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 it's not that daring. <laughs> Two. Yeah, more shape. You start too loud. Thing, yam pa pa pam pa pa pam from the second note or from the first note yam pa 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 yam pa 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 from the second yeah, but it's not more yam pa 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 yam pa 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 and then ya ta 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 first note ya pa 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 re ta 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 that makes it already Kind of articulation different, yeah. Not ya ta 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 ta. Yam pa pa pa. The first note is boom. No. Just there. One, two. Just 
just that much here. It was different more, yeah. It's too close to the front. Little, just that much. Here. Try. Rest here, rest here. Little here. Yeah, every time you have a little crescendo, I, I can feel the intention, but I don't hear enough. More bow. Can you play one of these? Yeah, pa 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 pa, like uh, or somewhere when you have the da 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 here. Like I, my feeling is that you play exact same and you play a little crescendo. No, a little bit more bow. Yeah, pa 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 pa. Try. Pa, 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 pa. You start, you start. Yeah, pa, 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 I hit it. Lose. Little lose. Try. Yeah. Good. You drop yam pagadigadam, lam pagadigadim. It's there. right. Lam pagadigadam, no lam pagadigadim, pa lam pam pam, tigadigadam. Pagadigadam, don't drop. Pa, pa, pa. You have to practice a little slower and try to figure out. There's a video on Casals uh, uh, teaching. And he takes the cello and he shows to the students slowly. to practice little slower these triplets and to see where you can ti ya ta 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 pa ta ta pa ta ta where you can shape a little bit more because it's a little bit that many triplets like first movement many sixteens mm -hmm. you have to shape a little bit more because otherwise it's a little 
you do uh, you can have different bowings but when it's separate you have to do the ah pa 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 ti ta 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 ti ta 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 ti ta 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 do it slower and a little bit more clear okay side, yeah and i would recommend really for this kind of music you know if i play mm, for coffee my wrist is like this but if i play yeah, bach or or this concerto, or uh, Haydn, or Boccherini, you know, this is the same tool, and it has to become a lighter tool, mm -hmm. kind of change the bow. Well, you can have a lighter bow for this, but change the feeling by changing a little bit the hand approach. This is lighter, like... Mm -hmm. Change, try to, to experiment on these different approaches to the bow, yeah? Okay. Thank you.
Beautiful, very, st very strong performance, yes. Uh, are you fighting for something or do you have the feeling you fight for something or not in this movement? Fighting for something? Yeah. Um, not really fighting, I don't think. Uh, what is, for you in this movement, what is the, the most difficult thing that you would like to change or it's nothing that you would like to change? No, of course not. <laughs> um, I mean, there are many different yeah, but things. I'm, I'm talking about as, as a big picture. Yeah. I don't know about big picture. I have a lot of particular yeah. specific things. But yeah. For example? Um, sounds in, in the end, in the coda particularly. That's where I get the feeling you were fighting for something. In the I, coda. See. I see. Yeah. What is the problem or what, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you said we, you were looking for some sounds and you said the coda and yes. what, 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 what is the sound? I mean of course I want something very special in the sounds but I think that um, but you are s we are talking when you start, when you start or later? Later, I meant, yeah, this, this. Yeah. So what, what didn't you like there? Um, I think at times I lost the, the focus and the concentration of the mm -hmm. sound. Um, maybe I was trying too hard in a certain way to make something special and kind of lost the the basic sound, I don't know. Yeah, that's why I said if you are fighting, you are you were trying too too hard, you are somehow fighting uh -huh. a little I see, bit. That's I, see. I had the feeling, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. You want which kind of vibrato do you want at this end? Uh, or is, is what is the mood here? Um, you th was it too tense, the vibrato? Or? Yes, yes, but okay. No, I don't want tens of yeah. Course, but yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But let's start from with the beginning. Okay. Beginning. Uh, I like it very much the tempo and the, the feeling, but you drop too much. You you hit and you drop. I also hit, but then I I had mm -hmm. sound in your. I had I had too, a little bit too much noise. Okay. Can you do you palm just without the piano once? One more. That's better. So, yeah, what did you change? Less bow, or more bow? Less bow. Yeah. My feeling is that sometimes you play with one it's forty lag, you play too much bow, and then the, the focus of the sound that you talked about. Mm. It's a little bit lost. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So a little bit less bow and more. No. Hmm. Try it. Okay. Let's bow. Uh -huh. Try it. But all bow here. Little bit, 
played a bit. I mean, mm. I'm just trying to improve what you, what is already quite good. Eh? Mm. <laughs> but the focus of the song. Sure. Uh -huh. the <laughs> And the second, the more or less. That one. Uh, more or less. It's I it's tam pa pa yeah, yeah, more, yeah. yeah. Just tam pa pa da tam. Do like this. What did they change? Do you hear the change? Mm -hmm. What is the change? And the sound is more open. Why? Um, because you're not like um, pressing. I no, guess. because you use the, the upper body uh, mm. tightness or energy there, like instead of. Here. Oh, I see. I'm fighting mm. for sound. Mm. This is very uh, dangerous enemy. <laughs> Try. Mm. Don't look. Try to feel your shoulders here. <laughs> don't, lo don't work here, don't work here. doesn't disturb. But this, when we, if we move here, doesn't disturb. If we move here, did you feel a difference at some point when you were? Yes. Play the very beginning now. Mm -hmm. First, you tune the cello before playing that, so tune the body also. <coughs> Take the chair like this, take the chair, and pull, pull, pull up. <laughs> and stay. <laughs> no effort. Effort. Mm. This is what I meant when I say fighting. Mm -hmm. Of course, you don't uh, realize, but. That makes you fighting for sound. Uh -huh. Play the beginning. No, no, no. Yeah. And it's not to play louder. To play the old end, the this end, play this, uh, th this end, play the, the trills. Two, What is the feeling? Ah. I 
expanding or recommend that you sit a little bit, little bit, not like in orchestra, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> but just, just play during, yeah. and mm. feel, mm. To this, if you add this. <laughs> if I stop, <sighs> so the, my playing is, is driven by, by my body, even my bow. Mm. I don't start with the bow. It's the body who does. This feeling. Can you try it? It's going against the wall just before changing. Mm. So the bow change is this. I don't, I don't, it changes. Yeah, this feeling. Mm. And uh, when you start, Jump to some other place. Uh, let's play the. Mm -hmm. Tim, Tim. Not as much, but you see, if I exaggerate this, it doesn't disturb. Sol, do, tam, pa. A strong G. T, ya, ta, ta, ta. because it's second string. Mm -hmm.
orchestra, you have to start with a little bit more sound. Uh, sure. You would have to start with more sound. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Feel the difference when you change something a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, to to fight this, just try to. Sort of like saying no or singing. Can you try this? Say move. No, but uh, with playing, playing. Just to feel relaxed here, and. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't mean you have to play like this, you have to practice the feeling to be free here, because Yeah, let's play now, sorry, we have two drums there Yeah, there, Koda Tune the body, tune the body first on the D. Yeah. D. Yep. You don't play a crescendo. You play and no, uh, the bow has to go faster. Don't drop the end of D. No, you yeah, are, you know, you yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it's uh, this uh, feeling here. It it comes. You have a very strong musical feeling, and it, your musical feeling uh, is here. You have to bring it here. <laughs> because do do do. Yeah. Yeah. Try again. Shoulders here. still have to go a long way down, right? I wouldn't start. Mm
Studying this piece with the Casals brother, who was my teacher, he asked me to vibrate on the Lisandro. <laughs> and it gives because it's the end, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit more, yeah. yeah. Bravo. Thank you. <laughs> Fifteen question and answer period, and including you, I hope you will have a couple of questions for him to start it off, um, and um, we'll see where we go. It's been a long afternoon, but I've got a couple of things on my mind, and I bet all of you do too. If you want to ask him a couple of questions, okay? Well, it was a pleasure, and it's not difficult to to have a great afternoon with so good students. It was a, a terrific, terrific yeah. telephone. Yeah. 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 Very, good. Very good. And for me, it was kind of a challenge because the, the Bach concerto I never taught before. I even never practiced too much that piece. Mm -hmm. And the Shalomo, it's a piece that I never performed. It's a piece I didn't like too much when I was oh, young no, or younger. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's but one of our great concerto. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. I said I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember once I had a conversation with Bernard Greenhouse about this piece. And he said, you know, it's the, the most noble feeling of the Jewish soul in this piece. And I, at one point I thought, if you are not Jewish, you cannot play this piece. <laughs> and I'm not. But We're I... We're German and we play Brahms. Yeah, you know, of it's, course. It's, and it's, I, oh, yeah, of course. But because this piece is so... I mean, so... Um, uh, when he wrote the piece and all the, 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 the cycle, it was too try to find his identity as a composer. And he, this feeling is very strong. But I remember after the conversation with Bernard Rinkhaus, and he took the cello, and he played the piece. He was almost 90. Wow. He took the cello, and he played the whole cello part for me by memory. <laughs> and this is this, and this is this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so then I started to, to learn the piece. And I remember I was in Andorra, my country. I was there practicing in the summer with a lot of time. And I get so much uh, taken by the piece. And I came out of the room and I said to my wife, I am in love with this piece. Yeah. I still never perform yeah. this, but uh, it's a great piece. And with all respect to the pianists, it's, I mean, it's, it's tremendously hard. And of course. They do a great job, but you have to have the orchestration. All the colors, There's of course. It's one of, of course. those pieces that of course, yeah, of course, that of makes course. it. Should we sit here? Because I think we're not on the mic. <laughs> you were on my mic. <laughs> teaching that myself these days. It's, uh, and I loved what you were doing. I thought maybe we could go into a little bit more depth about, you know, because there's so many, I mean, some very famous cellists are down like this too. So, no, but if but, you do this, it's yeah. no, it doesn't disturb. The problem is when you do this. Yeah. Yeah. 
that. And why? Because you, 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 you lost your, your back. If you do this, I can feel my back. It can move. I can do this. Of course, when I play, sometimes I do this. But if I do this, like looking to the score like this, then <laughs> I can no connection with my back. Right. Yeah. Maybe my upper back, but my you, upper you back You feel it in your arms, right? Yeah. That they don't work the same. Yeah. I lose yeah. the connection with the pelvis. The yeah. pelvis is where we are yeah. starting everything from. So when we play, of course, all kinds of things happen, but in terms of... Uh, do you have anything that you do yourself or that you teach in terms of a, maybe a, an optimal way to balance the head and to sit? You have to think to set the pelvis. Yeah. Because if you sit like this and the pelvis is like that, I also don't feel my back. The pelvis is like this. And from there, everything moves easily. But, but, but then... So you do that, and the head t automatically takes care of itself, or you... Well, the head has to be... But, I mean, we can move the head this way. As far as it doesn't disturb, we have to move mm. when we play. We do this. As far as you can sing, it's good. I, I, liked, I, can, I liked what you... I, don't, I do this, I cannot <laughs> sing. Da, da, I, I can't sing no ta, matter where I put my head. I, ta, sing. I cannot <laughs> sing. <ta. laughs> Yeah, I wish that was my only singing problem. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, what I find is when people are doing this or down like this, uh, just having them, you actually had him do it, just to move the head back and forth because if your head is down, you, you can't turn it side to side, right? So just the fact of looking from one side to the X and playing, yeah. I think it helps. And most of the tension here, I think, comes because the people, they feel the music, they want to get involved, but this is putting a break on their energy through the whole body. So they can find another kind of place, motion, to feel the, the music, because music is motion, we need to move. Like when I ask him to move with the cello, like this. Yeah, yeah. If we don't move, we cannot sing. And what, what I, I learned from a violinist once, to, to place the, the head and the, show, the, the, the back, you do this, and just like you make this, the shoulder blade sitting. Ah, uh, Starker. This. Starker used to have everybody do this. And yes. then it's set. Yeah. That's the basic. Then you move when you play. You are not going to play all the time like this. But it's setting the body. And something I learned from a physical therapist last week, which is, is uh, that um, if you're trying to keep your shoulders down, if you just indent your wings a little bit, just that's what you do when you go up and around, yeah? So when you pull your wings back like that, it holds your shoulders down. Mm -hmm. you, round your sho you round your upper back like that, and everything can come up. Of course. So, yeah. yeah. And this okay. feeling also helps to yeah. do that. <laughs> <laughs> After a big meal. <laughs> After a big meal, could be a problem. <laughs> so one more, just one more point I want to, I mean, I want to pay you a very big compliment um, and just point <coughs> out for um, you, the organization of your left hand. Um, it's so beautiful your hand is always together and it's always aligned. And I'm sure you must have thought about that. I just want, want you to talk about it a little bit. It, you weren't born with that, right? You had to have <laughs> disciplined it and organized it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, uh, maybe because I like organized things, my <laughs> head has to be organized. And uh, what helped me a lot was when I, when I met Werner Greenhouse. Because I heard him teaching He, he taught that to me, so that's why yeah, I... I heard him. Yeah. I was not playing like this, but I was yeah. not taking care of my... Uh, the hand is organized because it's free. If the hand is tight, mm. then the fingers, the, what they call the artichoke hand, <laughs> it's very difficult to play with artichoke. I'd like artichoke. <laughs> I had one for lunch, but... <laughs> <laughs> so this, this thing organize the hand by itself. I mean, if you do this, 
It's organized. And then with the arm, you play. And the fingers are. Whenever you reach, you, re uh, you always close. You always close. So your hand is always soft. You, you don't reach and stay out there. I, I never see your hand like that, ever. You didn't know it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't look too much to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's also good. Don't follow up. Don't look at your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Are there questions from the audience? Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's go for dinner. <laughs> Okay, yeah, then thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.